everyone welcome to my channel pure biology and today i come with another topic or another video this is the uh, cell determination in drosophila and dosage uh, compensation okay this is the part of the genetics and uh, we learn about this today okay okay first uh, uh, you uh, see here the two genes are very important one is the x gene another is the a gene yeah. In case of Drosophila, generally in human, two genes are very important that is X and Y. When X, X that denotes the female and when X, Y that denotes the male. But in case of Drosophila, X and A uh, gene are very important because the ratio of the X is to A. Okay, the ratio of the X is to A that denotes the female gene or the, sorry, female Drosophila or the male Drosophila. Okay. So, but here uh, you can uh, see uh, in this uh, when uh, we explain uh, about this uh, X and A ratio, the Y gene is very important in case of uh, female drosophila. It's a male drosophila. Y gene is very important in male drosophila because if Y gene is absent, that means male is sterile. Okay. Male is sterile. But Y gene is present, that means the male is fertile. So, Y gene is also important in Drosophila, but actually the X and Y gene ratio that denotes the female or the male Drosophila. Okay, clear? Here the, these are the uh, all uh, the sex chromosome or the X chromosome and these are all the autosome. Clear? And this is the ratio. And uh, you can uh, see here the way the two X chromosome or the two sex chromosome and the two autosome that means the ratio is 2 is to 2 that means 1 and when the ratio is 1 that means uh, it denotes the female flag and that is obviously normal clear yeah? and when XY gene and the autosome 2A the ratio is we always consider only the X and the a y gene is not considered in the form ratio. So here the ratio is one is to two. That means one by two or 0.5. This is the normal male. Here and when the number of uh, six chromosome that is the uh, three and the autosome is two, then the ratio is 1.5. And here, this is the female, but this is the meta female or the super female, but it is sterile. Here, and uh, here, when the number of 2A chromosome and the 2A, the Y gene is present. Here, Y gene is present, but Y gene is not important here. Only in this ratio, when the ratio is X and uh, A is 1, this always shows the female, normal female, obviously, not uh, in, uh, we uh, just uh, see here the Y gene is present, but it not shows the male. Okay, that means the Y gene is the just show the sterility or the fertility. Yeah. So here Y gene is present, but the uh, ratio of the sex gene and the uh, autosome that is one. So that means the uh, fly is female normal. Yeah. Achha. Next one. <coughs> The number of uh, X chromosome is 3 and the number of autosome is 4. So the ratio is 0 0.75. Is this 0 0.75 and when the two number of uh, X chromosome is 2 and number of autosome is 3, this is the 0 0.67. And this range that is from 0 0.67 and 0 0.75 that denote the intersex. That means the male and the female character both are present here. Okay, male and female character both are present here. And so, this is intersex and obviously it is sterile. And then in the last one, the ratio is 0 0.5. So, you can say this is a male obviously, obviously male, but this is sterile as the absence of Y chromosome. Y chromosome is absent. That is, this is the sterile. So, these are the uh, just uh, ratio of the X and uh, A chromosome or autosome that shows the uh, normal or the um, meta female or the uh, intersex uh, of the drosophila. Okay, so I think you can understand that. Now we uh, explain or uh, we know about the role of 3G. What is this? A sex cell gene. Okay, A sex cell gene, tra gene, and the D A sex gene. Okay. This is the 
main important factor or these are the main important factor or the proteins that helps to denote the female or the male drosophila. Okay. Now we learn about this. Okay. So here this is the early embryonic uh, condition and uh, how uh, it is determined become uh, why sorry uh, female or uh, male here the two important uh, three important genes are very important one is the SSL second one is the TRA and the third one is the DSS okay. DSS three genes are very important okay and then in the first situation uh, when the transcription is uh, occurred okay you know the transcription transcription means the RNA synthesis okay the transcription and here the slicing is important part of the transcription that is in the slicing uh, process the exons are attached and exons are generally separated by the introns these are introns okay these are introns and these are uh, exons so slicing method is the process where the exons are attached okay exons are attached Okay, and introns are totally separated. This is the slicing process. So, in case of uh, when the SXL uh, gene that uh, slicing uh, is uh, occurring in the SXL gene, so here the SXL protein is uh, formed. Okay, and this the role of this protein that means it regulated the tra pre mRNA slicing. Okay, it this the formation of the SXL protein is very important because it controls the slicing of tra gene. Okay, it controls the slicing of tra gene, and when the slicing is totally completed, then the tra protein is formed here. Okay, and this uh, tra protein also very uh, important because the it regulate actually the slicing of the DSX gene pre mRNA. Okay, here. Okay, so here the the mRNA of the DSX gene, what will produce the DSX F protein is produced. Okay, F for the female factor. Okay, and this DSX F protein is very important. Why? It totally represses this F factor. As usually, the production of the DSX F protein that represses the gene expression of the male. Okay, male gene expression will be stopped by this protein. Okay. So, the female uh, cell differentiation is occurred. In the, uh, uh, when the um, uh, embryo is determined to become the male drosophila, what happened there? The transcription is regulated and here the transcription is regulated, okay, very good. But the stop codon enter here. Pre-mRNA transcription or the slicing of the pre-mRNA is possible in case of uh, SXL gene obviously but here the stop codon enters and the stop codon what is the role of the stop codon? The stop codon actually always try to uh, block the translation. So the no SXL protein, SXL protein is not produced, produced here and as usually if the SXL protein is not produced here so the default slicing we can see of the trap. G or the trap P mRNA. Okay. And here also the stop codon improves and so translation is not occurred and trap protein is not produced here. So what happened to the DSX G? The default slicing is occurred in the DSX P mRNA, but here the DSX L protein is produced here. As usually the stop codon or is not present here, so that means the DSX A protein is produced here. That means translation is possible here. Okay, so this is the male factor. It actually represses the female gene. Okay, it represses the female gene expression, and as usually male uh, cell differentiation is possible here. So these are the genes. And these are the factors that are very important for uh, the embryo to determine it becomes female drosophila or the male drosophila. Okay. Now we understand about the dosage uh, compensation. What is the role of the dosage compensation in uh, female and the uh, male uh, drosophila determination? Okay. So we will learn about that now. So uh, this is the dosage compensation. What is the uh, this uh, dosage compensation? Here, actually, uh, this uh, 
G is very important in S S two G. Okay. When the male Drosophila is formed, then the S X L protein is absent. So here the transcription of the M S L two G is possible. Okay. And the M S L two protein is formed here due to the transcription process. Okay. Due to the transcription process, M S L two protein possible. Form. And this MSL2 protein that binds to MSLAD, MSL1, MSL3, NOF to form a complex. Okay. And what is the name of MSL? MSL is the male specific, male specific, specific lethal gene. Okay. Lethal gene. These genes are very important <coughs> for the uh, male drosophila okay and what is the role of this complex this complex actually binds to the ces that is the chromatin entry sites chromatin entry sites okay this where it binds suppose this is bind here like the chromatin fiber this is bound here it's not only stuck here it spreads in the both direction okay It spreads in the both direction. This complex, and what happens in that situation when it spreads all over the chromatin fiber, the remodeling of the chromatin fiber is possible. Remodeling activity, remodeling activity of the chromatin fiber is occurred, and as usually, this denotes the male male drosophila. Okay, so this is the actual role of the MSL2. And it functions only absent of MSL protein. Clear? This is the MSL2 protein or MSL2 gene. What happens in case of female? The MSL protein is present here. That means it binds the MSL2 gene. Okay? It binds to the MSL2 gene. And this MSL2 gene, when it binds to the MSL2 gene, the MSL2 protein is not formed here. Why? Because the translation is totally blocked. Okay. Other MSL, other MSL uh, protein is formed, but not MSL2 protein, which is very important for the formation of the male drosophila. That will not be produced here. So, what happens? He as the MSL2 protein is not produced, so the no complex form. Okay, the complex here you can see that MLE, MSL1, MSL3, MOF. This is the complex. So this complex is not formed here. And here, as the complex is not here formed here, so there is no chance for the binding the complex with the chromatin intercept. Okay, or the chromatin fiber, and as the pro, this not bind with the chromatin uh, entry sites, that means the remodeling activity is not possible here. Okay, so the remodeling remodeling activity is not possible here. Remodeling activity of chromatin, chromatin, sorry, chromatin. This is not possible, and as this is not possible, so the male drosophila or the male uh, formation is totally stopped. So what happened? The female drosophila is produced. The embryo is forced to form the female drosophila. So this gene is very important. That is the MSL gene, MSL2 gene, okay, and MSL2 protein, okay. MSL2 protein is a very important, okay. So this is the dosage compensation of the drosophila. I think you can understand. Now uh, I um, uh, tell about uh, the what is uh, the genetic cell, the role of the sex determination in Drosophila because the Drosophila is uh, the very uh, small insect and it is uh, easily um, it is easily um, applicable uh, for the uh, different types of researches. Okay. And different types of researches is possible for the Drosophila. So that's why first, this is the very important the sex determination because after uh, this the analyzation, after this, uh, this is the very easiest way to analyze the male and female Drosophila identification. And after this analyzation, it is the very um, easiest 
uh, way to observe the human uh, uh, daughter and the son or the female or the male uh, determination process okay so I will uh, explain about the female and the male uh, drosophila determination okay or the human the sex determination in human in my next video okay and you just uh, subscribe my channel and share my, my channel for the proper uh, getting the knowledge okay thank you